Hey guys, it's Richard from Welsh Tech. Got another video for you. This time, taking a look at the Phantom CPU air cooler from Bits Power. And just so you know, you've got to install this with gloves. Hmm. We'll get straight to the benchmarks, then we'll have a chat. Okay then, so we get to the benchmarks now. Right, so Cinebench R20, the idles are 28 Celsius. The max was a 64 Celsius, the average temp was a 63. Cinebench R23, idle 31, max 65, and the average was a 62 Celsius. Now I added the Assassin's Creed Odyssey because it does utilize the CPU. So idle was 33, the max it hit was a, six, uh, was a 55 Celsius. Then I added Blender Classroom because it, it hits the CPU fully. So idles were 34 and the max was a 63 Celsius. As you've seen the performance, yes, as you remember from the beginning, I said you're going to use gloves. Well, I wasn't lying. Um, in, the in, in the actual accessory box comes with gloves. Gloves. Do you want to know why? Because it's fully aluminium, and obviously there's there's oils in your skin that can start to uh, mark it and stuff. So the this is the accessory pack by Pure. Comes with this back plate by Pure for LG LGA seventeen hundred, and it comes with these by Pure. This one, these are for LGA. And then we've got two more brackets in, so you can add another fan on the other side if we wanted to. And then we've got the mountain by here for Intel. So, now the overall design, I like the overall design. As you can see, look, it looks lovely with the fan and, and that. It does look really nice, but <laughs> you've got to use gloves. I mean, I use the gloves because I didn't think... No, obviously I'm not going to install it again unless I need to test it again against something. But for a consumer to use gloves to install it, you might find that a bit weird. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's the this is the first CPU I've actually had to use gloves. Oh, and you also get this too, the TP1 thermal compound. You do get a, a little turb, 1.25 gram. I got a lot of this uh, thermal paste, it's good thermal paste, so that's pretty much everything in the box. Now, it's fully aluminium, the uh, the fan is ARGB of course, and the mountain is quite straightforward, it, it uh, uses the stock AMD bracket in the back, which I like to see more brands use, because it's just like Be Quiet. Uh, deep cool as well as not to they use the included backplate from the stock configuration from the motherboard so it's nice to see that a lot of brands don't some brands will use their own type of backplate at the end of the day if you AMD utilize the backplate that comes with the motherboards that's all I'm saying uh, the overall aesthetics it looks gorgeous it is rather loud at full tilt now it is rather loud because it goes 20 it goes 1800 rpm now it does push a lot of air but obviously as you saw from the performance it's good performance but the fact that you have to use gloves to install it i found quite funny <laughs> um that's one experience I'll never forget, using gloves to install a CPU cooler. But the, as I said, the installation was straightforward. It utilizes the back plate. Uh, the fan is clipped with these um, brackets on the side, which are already mounted on one on this fan. You could essentially buy another fan from Bitspot, or it looks like they will use standard basic 120 fans you could essentially buy the air cooler and buy your own stat press fans now the fan is loud at full tilt but at half speed it's really silent the performance is there the aesthetics is there and me 
personally, I like I like the look of it. But the fact you got to use gloves, that's maybe one of the things I would have preferred. Maybe instead of doing the full aluminium, maybe they could have coated it with like, like a black or white. You know, it, it would have. It, it would have just saved you using gloves. That's something I'm never going to forget. But as much as I like this cooler, that's one part of the cooler I don't like, is the fact you've got to use gloves. So I understand why, because once oils in your skin start touching alumina, uh, aluminium or aluminium for the Americans, it starts to pit the aluminium. So I understand why. But the fact you've got to use gloves to install it is a bit of a pain because uh, not everyone's going to remember to use them. So, I mean, as far as, far as support, it supports Intel uh, 2066, LGA 2011, um, LGA 1200, uh, LEM 51, LEM 50, LEM 55, LEM 56, 1366 and LGA 775. AM4, AM3, AM3+, plus, 2+, plus, AM2, FM2, FM2, FMA2, and F1, FM1. So, so, it supports a big range of platforms. So, yeah, look, it's a good cooler, don't get me wrong. That's one Nick Lick, I'll say, is the gloves, but... Overall, it's a good CPU cooler. It's definitely worth a buy if you like the uniqueness of it because it does look quite nice. I, I, I do like the aluminium look. So, yeah. I mean, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below because i got more bits power stuff coming. I've got their AI or the Cyclops 320. That's, 360, sorry. That's coming. I've also got some of their brand new Griffin ARGB, sorry, D RGB fans which connect together, similar to Lee and Lee, but, you know. So, yeah. This is Richard for Welsh Tech. Have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.